this demo, I'm going to show you how to put all the three things that we have just covered together. The brushes, uh, colors and layers. First thing I'm going to do is just to choose a fountain pen. Then I'm going to go to the basic tab and adjust the size. I'm going to leave the opacity at 100%. Tap out of the menu. Once I've selected a brush, the next thing is to select a color. I'm going to choose black. I will tap out of the color menu. Next, I will go to the layers menu and select the layer which I'm going to draw. The layer which I've selected will be outlined in blue. Draw a line from right to left. This will be a hill. But I'm not quite happy with this, so I will undo my last action and I'll try again. Draw the line and this time looks okay to me. Next, I will select the layer on top and I'll start drawing the house. But what I should do is pinch zoom in. I can get greater accuracy for the lines I want to draw. So remember to pinch zoom while you're drawing. I'm happy with the house and I'm going to start a third layer. And this layer will be on top. And for this layer, I'm going to draw in one tree. I'm not very happy with the tree trunk. I will undo. It is very common in digital art to be undoing, redoing, redrawing your lines again. Now next, I want to draw in more trees. I don't have to draw another tree. I can duplicate the layer with the tree in it. I tap on the layer of the tree and I get a sub-menu. There's a duplicate option. I make sure I've selected the correct layer. Go to the Tools menu and select Transform. A transform is where I can resize or move the layer. I'm now going to duplicate another layer and put in the third tree. So I do the same thing. I will move it, scale it, resize it and place it where I think is most suitable. Now I'm able to do this because I've drawn individual objects on different layers. Having individual objects on different layers, I have more options to adjust the composition of my drawing. At this point, I think I'm happy with how everything looks. I'm going to erase the lines of the trees, which is behind the tree that's supposed to be in the foreground. I'm tapping on the eye icon on the layer itself to check which layer I should be moving. I'll go to the brush menu to select an eraser brush. An eraser is just like any brush except that it removes pixels rather than add pixels. So I'll adjust the size and I'll leave the opacity setting at 100%. Start cleaning up the lines. I adjust the size again and I pinch zoom so I have better control over how much I'm erasing. Notice how I'm constantly pinch zooming in and out of the canvas. 